Hello, this is Lydell from Halo Inc. I just wanted to show you a quick video on how to set up a template that we get from Pro Vehicle Outlines. Um, so this is how we uh, set it up for designing a wrap or any type of vehicle graphics. So let me go through that process. Today I am going to work on the Chevy Silverado wrap for the Aquaman pool. So I'll show you how to set that one up. It's a 2010 Chevy Silverado. I believe it's a single cab. So first I'm gonna look up the work order number, which is 6416. <clears throat> mm, it is not there. So let me set up a folder, 6416. And then I'm gonna go to my I know I download it, so I'm just gonna. Actually, first of all, set this one up. Then I'll copy the file here for the template and I'll put it in the work files. <clears throat> And that's where we so work files or where we keep all of our um, customer files um, and such. And that's it. And everything we get from Pro Vehicle Outlines um, is at 120 scale. So we're going to, I like to adjust it just so it's easier for me to uh, work with, as well as um, I either work with it in half scale or quarter scale. So. Most of them, um, most of them are actually quarter scale, should be fine. Like this one, if we scale up 500%, that'll make it quarter scale. So, and we can do that. And then, let's see. We don't, don't necessarily need this one, so I'll pull this one out of the way, but. Um, so we're actually gonna adjust our artboard to fit inside here. So I'm gonna ungroup all this. Then I'll make sure this is grouped and then I'll center it on that. And then next thing I'm gonna do is set up four different layers. So the first one is gonna be my guides. And then my bleed layer. And I like to put this one up just above that, the other layer. And this one is actually gonna be my template. Being that it's already on there, on this layer, I just like to just grab the whole layer and pull it out. So, and this last one, the fourth layer at the bottom is gonna be the design layer. So this is how we set these up. And what I'm going to do is ungroup that. This one I like to keep in my guides, that way it's always on top. It's sort of a description. And now let's change this one fourth. Let's go bold. Let's go back out. Then for now, let's just lock the guide layer. <clears throat> and templates. Everything templates. So we're gonna group that. We're gonna copy. And we'll lock that, turn that off. Then we'll go to our bleed layer. Get the rectangle tool set up a box about it can it doesn't need to be exactly the size of the artboard it can actually be bigger um it's just i have my tool set up to snap to uh, any type of reference point so it tends to grab the corner of the artboard and then what we're gonna do is paste in place Control f and we're gonna combine that what is it called unite so within the pathfinder tool it's gonna be the unite tool 
and just to kind of get rid of some of these other stuff that's here, clean it up. We're going to release the clip, the compound path, and then just unite them again. So it get rid, gets rid of any unnecessary elements in there. do it for all four sides and get out of there and then what we're gonna do is within our compound not compound the uh, pathfinder tool it's gonna be minus front so basically it's gonna take the black layer or the black elements and remove it from the gray the back gray background and it's exactly what it did so and then we're gonna change that color to white then from there, that's going to be our bleed layer. And that one we pretty much will never have to change. Actually, I think there's a stroke on it. Yes, there is. Let's, let's get rid of that. And then that's going to be locked in place. And we'll bring up our template again. A lot of times the template's going to be locked. That way we don't mess with it. But we're still not done setting it up yet. So... I'm going to ungroup that and then we're going to take out the background color of the vehicle so, and I noticed some elements here that where once you get rid of the background you start seeing the tire. Um, some good practice is to kind of clean it up so what I'm going to do is copy that. Go back to my path bot. I copied the body. And then what I'm gonna do is go back to Pathfinder and then minus the front. So it takes and chops down to where it's nice and smooth right there. Then I'll paste it in front again because I copied that body and then minus in front again. And just in case I need that again, I like to copy it in front and just leave it there. Um, just so it's available. If I ever need it again, it'll be there. Um, same with this rear, I'm going to copy that. Minus in front, base. Minus in front, and then paste it again. So, last thing we need to do is, we want to darken up the uh, body lines on the vehicle, so we're going to select. And we're going to select the same stroke weight, and it'll bring up all the different um, all the different lines that have the same stroke weight and then we're actually going to bring that up probably i th one is okay but i th i think i like two it makes it a little bit more bold so a little bit more noticeable you'll see these hard lines and it actually helps out with the install too uh it gives them a point of reference um to when they install it they can actually kind of go off the body line so and actually get rid of these elements because these aren't necessary. Um, and I actually took pictures of the vehicle and I sent it to myself here. So let me look at this. So as you can see, there's a little, some elements on here that it shows on the actual template. Um, if I didn't know what the vehicle looked like, I would assume that these would still be here, so I would be kind of designing around it, which isn't the worst thing in the world, but I know that it's all smooth. There's not any, any anything to get in the way right there, so I'll actually remove these because they're unnecessary. And even in the rear, as you can see here, there's nothing. They took off everything on there, so. Just to, to get rid of everything, just to kind of clean it up, make it look very similar. And that's pretty much it, what we're going to do for the, um, <clears throat> the template. And we're actually going to lock that in place. And so everything that we're going to be doing um, is going to be in our guides. So I'll unlock that. And then our design layer. So for example... The truck is silver, so what I want to do is make the truck silver. It's about something similar to this, maybe a little bit of blue in there. So, 
something similar to that. So as you can see, I don't have to go onto each panel and then change the color. I basically draw a big box and that's the pro this is the reason why uh, to set up the vehicle templates this way. That way you're designing behind. So this is all, so just for example, let me see here. So if I was to design like a swoop or something. Keep it in the layer. And I want to change that to whatever color. It doesn't really matter. So I don't have to keep doing clipping masks on these each and every panel. I'm actually designing behind it and the way I set it up. So that's pretty much it. And everything is gonna be designed on this layer. So when time comes, I'm gonna add my bleed to the uh, guides. So when I bring down this, these guides, I can set my bleed to wherever I need it. And then adjust my artboard to the sizes of my, uh, my guides. And then from there, I can just print directly. And then make sure when I'm printing, I print 400 times that, 400 times. So I scale up 400 times. So that way it gets full size. So really simple way to design and set up your, set up your template to get ready to design the vehicles. All right. Um, thank you for watching. Again, this is Lydell with Halo Inc.